Maybe your family's like mine, split down the middle when it comes to this. It's the biggest rivalry game in the state of Oregon. And today, Oregon State University and University of Oregon battled on the gridiron to see who takes home the platypus trophy. Our Orlando Sanchez is live for us today in Eugene. Hey, Orlando, how's it going? Hey, Galen, I know a lot of people can relate to what you just said, and it's been a long time coming. Two years since the last time Ducks and Beavers fans got to experience this rivalry in person. And the 125th edition of this rivalry turned out to have more on the line than just bragging rights. The scene is set. Otson Stadium at full strength. More than 56,000 in the house. A much different vibe in 2021. Ducks and Beaver Nation loud and proud. The Ducks playing for a trip to a third straight Pac-12 championship game. Saying goodbye to their senior class, Kayvon Thibodeau's final game at Autzen before the NFL comes calling. The Beavers fresh off their most successful season since 2013, trying to spoil the party. 11th ranked Oregon dominated the first half, offense clicking on all cylinders, chalking up more than 300 yards of offense in the first half. What can Brown do for you? Anthony Brown delivered through the air and on the ground, pushing the lead to 24 to three. Oregon State answered in the second half. Chance Nolan hooking up with Luke Musgrave for the Beavs' first TD of the game. OSU found some rhythm, making it a two possession game, but that's as close as it would get. Oregon bounces back from its worst loss of the season, defeats their rival Oregon State 38 to 29. And it was tough. I mean, they played well offensively in the first half. Get them off the field, couldn't do it. And so got got behind. I was pleased that we started the second half with a score and we were going to you know, have to chase from there. And guys did continue to battle, but did not play well enough to beat a good football team. Not disappointed, you know, that we didn't win the game. For me as an in-state kid, you know, I'm disappointed in myself for letting my team down, uh, my program down and Corvallis down. As Jaden Grant said, obviously disappointment, the theme for the Beavers, but the silver lining in all of this is that they'll get to stay together for about a month or so because they have a bowl game to play for the first time since 2013. We'll have more details on that in the days to come. As for the Oregon Ducks, we'll hear from them at 11 o'clock here on KGW, but the message there is they get a chance now to play for a Pac-12 championship for the third year in a row and avenge that loss that they suffered a week ago against Utah. That game on Friday. Reporting live from Autzen Stadium, Galen, we'll send it back to you.